So hello and welcome to the Australian Sepsis Network portal on Continuous.com. Firstly, Continuous.com is an ethical learning management system for healthcare professionals, bringing you continuing education with the leading subject experts in the world and making it accessible, affordable, convenient and socially responsible for all healthcare professionals globally. And we're delighted to partner with the Australian Sepsis Network on this exciting project. So what is it? Well, it's a collection of sepsis resources put together by the Australian Sepsis Network in collaboration with their global partners, which includes the Global Sepsis Alliance, Asia Pacific Sepsis Alliance, the George Institute, and many more. And we need to say a special thank you to CSL Bearing, which is a global biotech company that specializes in, in treating rare and serious diseases. Now, they have not had any input into the, the resources themselves or the lectures. They just wanted to support global sepsis awareness and education. So we're very grateful to them for that. Now, you do not need to sign up to Continuous to access a lot of the content in the portal page, but we recommend that you do sign up because you cannot access the video content without doing so. The reason being is all of the video content, content comes with free CPD certificates, and we need your information to populate those certificates and store them in your personalized account profile along with your notes. So in order to sign up, this is the Continuous page. Go ahead in the top right-hand corner of this pink button, click sign up. I'll go ahead and do that. And this is our registration page. So we just need a little bit of information, your name, what your occupation is, what country you work in, and then create a password. Click to select our newsletter if you wish to hear first about all of our exciting information and any offers that we have, and then click to create account. When you've done that, you'll receive an automated email from us with a link inside that you need to click to authenticate your account. Now, if you do not receive that within the first few minutes, please look in your junk email folder. If it's not there, very rarely, um, email filters, particularly work email filters, can block these automated messages. So just contact us at info at continuous.com and we will manually authenticate it for you. So once you've completed all the registration steps, you're now ready to sign in. So go ahead and click on sign in and then enter the email and password that you used at registration. I'll go ahead and use one of mine. And now you are logged in because you can see up here on the top right, it has now changed to my account and that's your account profile. And we'll come to that a little bit later. But to go ahead and get into the, the portal page, let's click on Partners, Australian Sepsis Network. And this is the Australian Sepsis Network page. Now the blue bar contains all the resources that are that will be of interest to you. And these are all um, stored within these little tabs here. And we'll come to those individually just to show you what they are. It will open on the lectures page. You can see ASN Lectures is highlighted and the ringed uh, tab is Watch Now. And that means these are lectures that are recorded. They are immediately accessible. You can go ahead and start watching those. And these are from experts from all over the world. And so let's just go ahead and choose one of those. So let's have a look at Professor Phil Dellinger's. So if I click on that, and that will open up Professor Phil Dellinger's personal page, and you can click to read a bio about Professor Dellinger. There's a talk summary, some learning objectives, some other accreditation information. And then you can go ahead and click enter. So let's do that. And what will happen first is you'll be brought to a pre-lecture quiz. And I'm going to just quickly answer these. I'm going to choose A, so don't judge me on this, just to get through all of these um, quickly. Now, you do not need to get these correct. This is just to gauge your understanding of the topic before the lecture begins. You'll see that I got one of those correct. And then you can go ahead and click to access the lecture and this is what a video page will look like so you can go ahead and click play and you'll see underneath you can download the slides and also your notes are stored here so let's just go ahead and click play and that will start from the beginning just pause it there you can see there's a number of things here on the video player page you can rewind 10 seconds you can adjust the volume you can see where you are and what the total length of the video is you can take notes which I'll come to in a minute you, there's some settings, you can change the speed and also the quality of the video. And there's a full screen mode, and then you can exit full screen mode with that little icon there. Now, the most important thing to tell you about is the note taking function. So you can take notes as you progress, which are stored in your account profile, which you can download as a summary of your learning. But the notes are also time stamped, which means afterwards, later down the line, you can click on the time signature and it will bring you back to that point in the video. So let me show you how that works. Um, so there are three ways that you can take a note. You can click this add note icon here. You can click the add note icon in the notes section, or there is a hotkey. So if you're using a Mac 
computer, you can click the Option button plus the N button, November, N for November. So Option plus N, uh, and on a Windows-based computer, it's Alt plus N, and that will open up the box. So let me just show you how that works. I'll jump forward a little bit. Um, and if I like what he said at this point, then I'll click on this Add Note box. You'll notice it pauses the video, so you're not going to lose anything. And I'll just write... Um, I'll give it a title, and then I'll just write... And that will be my note. And you'll notice that it's time stamped. So this time signature um, equals the time that you are in the video. And if I go ahead and click Save, you'll notice that the video starts to play immediately, so you don't miss anything. And then if I scroll down, you'll notice that this note is uh, stored here, as will all your notes as you progress through the video. Now you'll notice the time signature itself is highlighted, and if I click on that, it actually brings me back to a point in the video 10 seconds before I took the note. So it'll bring you back, to, in this case, to six minutes, 40 seconds, so that you capture the note or the point that you were trying to make. If you need to go back further, you can scroll or you can quickly rewind 10 seconds. And um, so I think, We'll just go back to the portal page. I think that's probably enough there. Okay, so that's the Watch Now section. So the upcoming section will be advertising all the upcoming lectures. So these will all be live webinars through Zoom and you can register for those through this platform. If it doesn't suit, and that's absolutely fine, the videos will be available within a couple of hours in the Watch Now section on this page. So you'll never miss out. Now conferences, um, Upcoming, you can see, is highlighted here. So this is an upcoming Australian Sepsis Network event. This happens to be a hybrid face-to-face -face plus live event. And you can click through to find out more information and to book for that. Now, some videos will be made from this lecture and those will be, or from this event, and those will be available in the Watch Now section after that event has taken place. If I click on resources, there's a whole host of resources here. There's journals, studies, guidelines, anything that we feel is important and relevant to people interested in sepsis, which I guess we all are. And on the right-hand side, there's some particularly highlighted resources that uh, we think you'll enjoy. Forum, if I click on forum, this is a, a discussion forum, so you can start a new thread. So if you have a question or comment to post yourself, you can do so by clicking there. Once there are other comments and posts, then you can comment on those. So they are a way to carry on the discussion around the content here and anything relevant to sepsis. But if I go back to the portal page, let's go along. So Partners is just other partner uh, organizations, sepsis organizations from around the world. And you can click through to find out more about them. And there's a whole uh, host of them there for you uh, to have a look at. Partner lectures, so these are lectures not hosted on the Continuous platform, hosted elsewhere, typically from um, some of our partners, and, and we will be adding to this and all the other resources as the weeks and months progress, but you can click through to those sites and access that other content. And partner events is just a list of sepsis events. They could be live webinars, they could be podcasts, they could be face-to-face -face conferences, hybrid conferences, anything that we feel is relevant and important and of interest to you from around the world and you can find a little bit of information and you can go ahead and click through to find out more about those. So that is all the resources. Um, the only final thing I wanted to let you know about was your account profile. So up here in the top right hand corner, if I go ahead and click my account, this will bring you to your personal account profile on Continuous where you can do a number of things, including access your account details, change your password, etc. But here you can see all of the video content that you access and you can click on the title, that will bring you to the, the home page for that particular piece of content. And over here, there are quick links through to the quiz, through to your certificates and your notes. Now, if I go ahead and look at um, Symmetric Peripheral Gangrene with Phil Dellinger, if I click on the notes, you can see here, this was the note that I took, as will be all of the notes that I take in that particular lecture, and you can download those and print them from here. I think that's enough to get you going. If you have any questions at any time, please contact us at info at continuous.com. We hope you enjoy the Australian Sepsis Network portal and thank you very much for listening.